I think I know what this is. I think I need to be really careful because cinnabar should not be confused with cinnamon or cinnabon. Mm. I love cinnabon. Cinnabar is a mercury or mercury's dangerous. Do we have gloves? Because I'm eating lunch after this. Water. You shouldn't lick mercury. Not that I've ever licked a gemstone on this channel. I think it's gonna be kind of a red brownish color. Kind of looks like cinnamon. So the chemical composition for cinnabar is HGS. So that's big H, little g, and then big S. So the HG, that's mercury, and the big S is sulfur. So it's a mercury sulfide. We need to really be conscious of chemical compositions because it helps us kind of learn more about gemstones and why they act the way they do. And in this episode, it's extremely important to remember that HG, because we're not talking about like a high, oh no, that's HD. HD is high definition television. Is this channel HD? Anyways, so HG is important because that's mercury. Mercury can be a little dangerous. So yeah, that's why we want to learn more about chemical compositions because it tells us it's that first look um, into what's going on in the stone, you know, maybe where the coloring comes from, maybe we need to be careful of something. All right, so Cinnabar is only a two to two and a half on the Mohs scale, so it's really soft. And actually, I can't remember if we've had anything that's soft on the channel. Um, so if you are in Texas, California, Nevada, you can find Cinnabar there. You can also find it in Slovenia, Serbia, and China. And Mexico, Mexico, yes. So um, just something to keep in mind if you are in those areas, keep an eye out. So now I'm really excited. I wanna just jump in and see what this specimen or stone looks like. I don't think I'm gonna get jewelry and that's okay. Let's jump in, ready? All right, so we have this white matrix, but you can see that red part, y'all, that's cinnabar. It is, um, we talked about mercury. You can pull mercury out of cinnabar. It's what we mean by an ore. Um, you know, the, it kind of reminds me of a cinnamon color. So fun fact, there is actual cinnabar and then there is not actual cinnabar. So sometimes in the business people will say something is cinnabar, but it's not. Um, I think it's usually calcium that's dyed and kind of packed together. You're gonna wanna test this out. That's gonna be you know, further gemological testing, further geological testing. That's gonna be some pretty intense stuff. Um, for today's episode, I know this is cinnabar because I know everyone at JTV would not tease me. Cinnabar is found in places that are associated with volcanic activity and hot springs. We've talked in the past about crystal systems. Cinnabar is of the trigonal crystal system. I think we did an episode about the cubic crystal system. We'll have to focus on the trigonal crystal system in the future. When I think of trigonal, I think of a Toblerone candy bar, which is one of my favorite candy bars. I think I'm saying the name right. All right, ready? Okay. Whoa! Whoa, I think I know what the hat is. Weird. Okay, so something that it's kind of cool is that this mercury, it looks like little balls of silver, but cinnabar is red. So I'd love to have a geologist or a chemist on the show someday and we can talk about, you know, how that is. You know, mercury is just HG, cinnabar is HGS, the chemical composition. So where, where is this difference? Where is this disconnect? So cinnabar has quite the history. The ancient Greeks and Romans, um, it had some sacred associations. It was, it was important to them. Uh, the Chinese, there was, it was thought that the ancient cultures actually carved cinnabar. The name cinnabar is actually thought to come from the Persian word for dragon's blood. I am not Khaleesi. I have never seen dragon's blood. If you've seen dragon's blood, and let me know if this is what it looks like. So you can see we've got some, some major, major um, ancient cultures, the Greeks, the Romans, um, ancient Chinese, the Persians, that cinnabar was important to. And hey, it's important to us today. Cinnabar also refers to lacquer that has that same bright red color. Um, you know, just something to be aware of when you see the words vermilion and cinnabar, know that it could mean 
It could be related to mercury, like we're talking about today. It could also just be related to a pigment. Okay, really cool story about cinnabar. So, you know, back in the day when there was, you know, hat makers, they would coat the hats in vermilion, the pigment made of cinnabar. And that's where the term Mad Hatter comes in because I don't know whether it was the, the hat maker himself or people that were wearing the hat, they would go crazy because of the mercury. And now we have the term Mad Hatter. All right, everyone, I want you to take a closer look at that red color. I am blown away about how bright and vibrant it is. I can totally see why this was used as a pigment in the past. Thankfully for our health, it's not used as a pigment now, but we can still appreciate the historical uses and, and what cinnabar is. <laughs> enjoyed the episode today. I am going to go wash my hands before I eat lunch and I'm going to give this specimen back to Elizabeth and ask her why I was not op allowed to open the box because on this channel I like to open boxes. Um, if you like today's video, why don't you go and leave me a thermometer emoji. Big thank you to everyone who edited this video for not making me look like a mad hatter or a mad YouTuber. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be thinking anyone. I don't know what's really going on. Um, but as always, this was a group effort. There are so many facets in this business and I was thankful today that we were able to talk about Cinnabar. So like, subscribe, and send me a thermometer emoji.